Well, after the back and forth and back again court battle, the opposition group lost ultimately, but said they are not giving up. These are Baltimore City residents who are members of the group Protect Our Parks. They held a press conference here today and they said expect to see their slogan F no across this city from now till November. They're trying to get as many people as possible to vote no on ballot question F. Vote F no. They went to court to get rid of Baltimore's ballot question F and they lost. So now they're going grassroots. That was the announcement made at an Inner Harbor press conference today by these residents turned leading opposition voices. We're sorry if some people take offense with the F no, but I have to tell you, most people, that's where they're at. They've got a catchy slogan, they said, a growing army of volunteers, and a plan to spread their F no message citywide. Mass communication, including possible use of billboards, and email and text campaigns. We can't give up. We can't give up. They want as many people as possible to vote no on ballot question F, which asks if voters want to turn part of the Inner Harbor's public park over to a private firm so it can be turned into a mixed use development with apartment towers. Judge Vitale could not understand it when she read it and she voted in our favor initially. Baltimore City and the State Board of Elections appealed to the Maryland Supreme Court and won with a ruling last week. Question F stays, the panel said, agreeing with the state's argument about timing. It's the state board's position that that lawsuit should have happened under 12202 if it happened under 12202 soon after the passing of the resolution by the mayor and city council back in May of 2024. The anti-F folks say they lost based on a technicality and are determined to win in November by defeating the F question on city ballots. So the pro F people have their own signs and slogans posted already, not as clever as the opposition signs, but you can see the blue signs behind us here. It says vote yes on F. The anti F folks tell us they're going to be hard to miss between now and November election day. They plan to get in front of as many people as possible. They said they'll be out here during the marathon on Saturday and they will be at voting locations when early voting begins next week. Reporting live tonight from the Inner Harbor, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.